As of recording, Avengers Infinity War has yet to release, rendering this video almost entirely pointless before I even get it out the door. That said, there's a new Marvel movie every single week in theaters, so it's hard to keep up. I'm going to talk about the best and worst of the movies released so far in the MCU on this episode of Movie Marvels. That's a working title on Guru Hub. No. I'm Ant-Man. I know. It wasn't my idea. Ant-Man is about as perfectly average as a movie can get. It's not too bad. It's not too good. It's just right. It's the Goldilocks of films. Paul Rudd is a likable lead and the heist-styled approach helps it stand out a little from the others. But it's still very formulaic and it doesn't stack up next to the heavier Marvel hitters. I don't hate Thor 2, I just don't remember anything about it. It's got a lot of things I should really enjoy. Thor punching things real hard, Loki doing tricky magic. I guess it's got two things I really enjoy. Portman. That was for New York. I like her. Portman punching, that's even better. Still though, this was kind of a dud. I asked my Twitter followers for their best and worst of these Marvel movies and someone agreed with me, so I'm justified. See, Vikram, he and a few others put this one dead last. I've never read a single Captain America comic book, so it's unclear to me if this is what the fans want. It's not what I want, I know that much. The period piece concept was cool, but the intentionally campy direction didn't work. Evans would go on to win me over in later installments in the franchise, but in this first one, nothing really pops. Some people like Iron Man too, and there's not a single thing I can do about that. I almost put this dead last because of how much of a quality dip there is from Iron Man 1 to whatever this was supposed to be. It did deliver us Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow though, and I will forever be grateful for that. I want one. No. There's nothing incredible about the Incredible Hulk, hence the clever use of my rabbit fingers to signify sarcasm. It's very creative, it's never been done before, much like a ranking of Marvel movies list. The best thing I can say about this movie is the Hulk never once fights a giant mutated poodle. <laughs> that was horrific. I didn't know anything about these crazy characters or the misadventures they would get into, but I was on board. It was somehow a more nerdy version of the Avengers. It also really stood out for director James Gunn's hand-picked music selection and witty comedy. Much like my comedy with the clever use of those rabbit ears. Just super witty, super unexpected. Let's move on. Thor Ragnarok. I was not expecting this movie at all. After two lukewarm films in the Thor series, this didn't have much momentum behind it. It turns out, completely changing the tone from dark and serious to a funny buddy comedy featuring the Hulk, it's just what the Thor ordered. The Avengers was the number one pick on Twitter for good reason. This is the movie everyone was waiting for and it did not disappoint. The scale was incredible, the action moments were unforgettable, and from that point on, the MCU truly became an unstoppable juggernaut. No pun intended. Fox owns that property still. I, I understood that reference. Putting this one above the first Avengers will truly turn some people off, but hey, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to put down a completely forgettable list of Marvel movies that people will dissect and talk about for all of two minutes before moving on to the next thing on the internet. The pacing, the team, and the visuals are all improved upon, and Ultron is a fun villain. If that's not an airtight case as to why this is better than the first, I don't know what you expect to hear. I'm sure this won't be the number one pick on a lot of people's lists, but then again, no one's ever done a Marvel movie ranking before. This is the first time ever. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, or Gotgav 2 for short, really flesh out the leads build upon the crazy world they live in, and somehow balance comedy, action, drama, and heart with great success. An easily rewatchable movie for me with another killer soundtrack. As a counterpoint to myself, and to prove that I am extremely humble and value other people's opinions even though they're wrong, Ethan McLean put Guardians 2 as his least favorite. <laughs> and now I'm not sure we can be friends, Ethan, because I base all my friendships solely on movie picks people have. It's extremely unhealthy. Well, that's my list, and I know, I know, it's truly remarkable. Marvel has done an amazing job building up this cinematic universe with no signs of slowing down. Thank you for watching another episode of Marvel Movies Ragnarok. 
That's a working title. Let's have Baby Groot dance us off.